Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We'll talk about common mistake people make when replacing fuses, relays that can cost you quite a bit of money, guys, and waste of time as well. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair, guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW, guys. 5 Series Generation E60, E61. That one that you see right here, this is the 5 Series BMW from year 2003 to year 2010. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the EVAP fuse is located, guys, for the evaporative emission system, guys, fuse. Where you can find that fuse, where you can buy cheap fuses, parts, tubes, at a good price, quick shipping. That way, you do not have to waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays guys all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure to stay until the end so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys if you have bmw 60 61 that generation 5 series we'll be making a video about every possible fuse and relay why to save you time and money let's say you're in the middle of nowhere your fuel pump fuse blows out what you need to do okay it takes forever to find where it's located it's so complicated you may have even multiple fuses and all you have to do come to our channel search for it and you'll be able to find that video watch it and in less than two minutes you replace the fuses you're back on the road something else guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you guys how to fix pretty much anything engines transmissions why we do that because our mission to shop is to save you money guys we have more than 11,000 videos on our channels that can save you quite a bit of money now uh, if you guys need to buy parts to use for your BMW or any car we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from at a really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and if you need to buy cheap fuses relays anything for your BMW links will be shared as well so let's continue now so the EVAP fuse guys where it's located so if we come right here we'll demonstrate on the 2008 BMW 5 series now it will work for the pre-phase lifted and phase lifted models as well you guys have three different fuse boxes in this car we work in one of them where it is open the hood on your BMW guys once you open the hood this is your windshield on the passenger side this is the shock tower this is the strut for the hood right here you have one trim cover remove it and you get to a white fuse box open the cover and you will guys see a fuse box layout uh, wires multiple wires connectors computers relays right here before we continue let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays so it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well common mistakes people make sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system I will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery guys okay common mistake people make it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect reconnect first if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules how we know about that we burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost is two thousand dollars guys so uh, we'll put the link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first check it out for your convenience the fuse guys that you will need to check here if you come check this thing out what you're looking for you're looking for that fuse block that consists of five fuses okay integrating one fuse block it will be somewhere in that fuse box but it could be on the left the right side up or down depending on the model ear engine configuration and all that stuff so you're looking for that thing right here remove the cap you have five fuses the fuse that you need to check is the second fuse but since you're already there check all five just in case you don't have another one that has burned and you have to do the work again hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you guys next time